In the year 2009, I set out to start my business again after my first major business crash. You know, I started out in July 2008 and I lost the little cash I had within a week. I started again and after a lot of struggles, I lost my business again in the first quarter of 2009. Now, I wanted to start all over again but I had no money. I called a few friends and one of them gave me small amount of money which could only be my transport fare to my new destination but there was a problem. I was going to a new town where I knew nobody and I hoped I could somehow get an apartment for myself and my business and also get the supplier to give me the raw materials I needed for my business. How is this going to be possible? Well, I was able to secure an apartment within 24 hours without paying a dollar for it and within few weeks, I was able to secure the trust of one of the suppliers I needed for my products and within three months, I got other suppliers too to trust me. How did I do all these without having money? Well, here is the thing. I was a trained seller. I started selling my mother's products when I was only about 8 years old and ever since then, I have been fascinated by the concept of selling. Now, you may want to ask me what does selling have to do with getting other people to give you what you need even while you don't have money to pay them? Well, everything. If you can sell yourself, your product and your ideas, you can get other people to give you their physical, financial or emotional support. The one difficult skill every poor person lacks is selling skill even though they will never agree with you on this statement. You see, you can never lack money if you know how to sell. Show me a guy who doesn't have a dollar to his name but knows how to sell and I will show you a guy who will be rich in the next few years. Another problem we have with the word selling is that whenever we hear that word, the first thing that comes to mind is the picture of a salesperson trying to sell a product or service. While that salesperson is selling the product or service we all sell every day, those who get ahead among us are those who know how to sell very well. Selling yourself I have confessed to a few close friends in the past that I feel like wherever I go, everyone finds it easy to trust me and let me tell you the truth, I am not faking anything. I am just myself but I am also a seller which means I've learned how to get people to see the reason to support my vision so even if I have no money, you can trust that I can always get someone who does have money to finance my ideas. I've done this for over a decade and my testimonies are mind-blowing. For example, in my country, we don't have anything like student loans. What you do at the beginning of the school session is to take your school fees to school and pay to the school's account. So it happened that I once got one of my friends to loan me his school fees and he did. This is crazy because it simply means that if I lose that money and he's not able to pay the school fees, then he'll be kicked out of school but he did it anyway. I once got someone else to empty his bank account for me and probably the biggest of them all, I once got a friend I met on Facebook to invest $10,000 in my business. I mean, I started out as an entrepreneur with nothing. The only skill I had and sharpened is my selling skill because I knew that if I could master how to sell myself, I could sell my ideas and get other people to buy into it. Again, nobody is poor because they lack money. People are poor because they lack selling skills. If you know how to sell yourself, you'll sell your ideas. People will make crazy sacrifices for you by dropping their hard-earned money at your feet and you'll have resources you need to finance your ideas. If you lack motivation to sell, then you might have to join our motivational channel, Hunt TV to get inspiration required to get you what you need from others. Join Hunt TV in the description box below. Why most people don't know how to sell I claim in the title of this video that selling skill is a difficult skill but maybe that's not totally true. I think selling is like most skills. It's difficult if you've not mastered it. It's that simple. For instance, soccer is very difficult for me because I didn't even play it as a child. Music could be difficult for you but not for Jay-Z. Entrepreneurship isn't difficult for me because I've invested probably 50,000 hours doing business, talking business and reading, learning about business. Selling isn't difficult for most people because first, society or school didn't teach you anything about how to sell. In fact, the term selling sounds manipulative so you'd better don't do it. 
Another reason why selling is difficult is because everyone believes that if they are scientists, lawyers or medical doctors, they are not selling. It turns out that we are all selling. As long as you ever need another human being to do you a favor, you're a seller. So you better learn how to do it well. So, how can you be a great seller? I'll explain this to you by telling you my personal stories. My first attempt at selling was when my mother asked me to sell groundnuts at about age 8. I did sell groundnuts and that involved convincing people that my groundnut was good and fresh. At about 11, I joined a group in the church and I had to stand up often to try and convince everyone about the reasons why we shouldn't do something or why we should do something else. I later contested an election in another church organization which means that I had to convince people to vote for me. In my high school, I was opinionated. I always tried to get people to see something I'm seeing and at age 15, I started my first major business. It was a bicycle renting business and I had to get teenagers like myself to give me money. At age 16, I started photography business and now I had to deal not only with my customers but also my photo producers. When I got an admission to a polytechnic at about age 18, I decided to get fully involved with the campus politics. In my school, we had student unions and different political groups and clubs. I tried my best to get involved as much as I could and this involved speaking in front of thousands of people and by now, convincing people had become my daily tasks. By the year 2008, I left school to focus fully on business building. I'm sorry if my personal stories bored you but this is what I want to show you. The best way to learn how to get other people to support your vision is by trying to get them to do something for you. In other words, the best way to learn how to sell is by selling. Because I had been trying to get other people to do me a favor since when I was 8, it's just normal that I've gotten thousands of feedback and I've learned from experience what to say and what not to say to people. So, if people ask me, how do I become a great salesperson? My answer is very simple. Try and convince people to do something for you and continue trying. If you use social media, try and get your followers to participate in a survey. Try and get them to visit a page on your blog and track their response. Change your approach and see the feedback. If you're still young, get involved with any reasonable political or social activities around you and try to become a leader. This will not only force you to learn how to get votes, you'll be first to learn how to get people to cooperate and sacrifice for you. If you're working, try and get your co-workers to like you. Yes, getting people to like you requires selling skills. If you want to take this a little further, get a job as a salesperson in a very tough industry. Insurance, for example, is a very tough industry in my country and that's why I love my children to work at least one to three years in any insurance company. You get my point. To learn how to convince people to support your ideas, start convincing them. You'll be rejected, some of your approaches will be stupid and you will fail. But you'll start learning about human nature and how to get what you want from them. The more you try to get other people to do something for you, the more you learn how to persuade humans and the more you'll be able to get other humans to support your vision ideas or business. The other thing you can do is to read a few books about selling, marketing and human psychology. Reading these books is very important but if you don't actually try and get people to do something for you, you can't be good at selling and you can't be rich. Again, nobody is poor. People just don't know how to convince others to support their ideas. Imagine what will happen if you can get the amount you need to finance your business idea, get others to vote for you in an election or make others buy your products. Learn how to sell and you won't ever lack for money.